G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. Now for a few years I've been attempting to find a pair of gloves to use since I started making the YouTube channels, doing the bushwalking, local hikes and everything. And the gloves I started off with to make it easier at that point were not warm enough, they were not waterproof. Then I moved on to another pair which were waterproof and warm enough but they were a pain having to keep taking them off the same as the first pair to turn the camera on to record then putting them back on doing the video then taking the glove back off and cancelling the record and then having to put it back on which meant my hand would get cold so I ended up with these I went in for a black pair and I came out with these in the tree camo because I didn't have the black and in a way I'm, I'm glad I did <laughs> I'm glad they didn't have them in black because I just got so used to these uh, they're just that nice colour they're not black they'll go with anything if you're thinking about wearing now these are the XTM Performance Scope Hooded Micro Fleece Glove the tree camo sections are made out of 140 gram per square meter anti-pill micro fleece. Then we have the black section is the two, uh, yeah, 205 gram per square meter recycled micro fleece. Now it's got a waterproof membrane on it. Now my hands have never got wet wearing these but I haven't been in the extremes where it's pelting down and I haven't put my hand under a tap, none of that. Just normal use, my hands have stayed warm in these. Got elastic wrist sections on so when you put them on it actually seals around your wrist. Now these little buckles so uh, just click them in together so you don't lose them so they'll be both in the same place and what they used to have which they still have but I took them off mine was they had a little round hook and loop on here and here so when you folded them back that will hold it in place and they had the same on the thumb so because the thumb comes off and that used to hold back now that bugged me because if I was wearing uh, my fleece jacket it would get caught on there it, and it didn't really need for me my purpose because it holds itself fairly secure in that position for you to use it but if you're worried about if you're making a fire leave the hook and loop on and that'll hold it in place I'm not worried about that so the scope glob they call it so it's actually a mitten it looks like and this is the hooded bit the mitten part and if you're going to be bringing that back like you just saw I've got my fingertips where I can actually use it to turn the camera on without any trouble press the small button to turn it off and it's only my fingertips that are getting cold so all then I have to do is flick that back over and this actually holds the heat in when I'm not wearing it for all the time it takes to turn the camera on and off so I'll flip it back over and my hands and my fingertips and the hand stays warm because it's not uncovered but the fingertips warm back up and that's made a big difference to me now one bit I wish the thumb bit was a little bit longer I went over the flappy bit if you want to call it where the thumb goes through because that just come off as you're using it so you can see there it just needs to be that little bit longer and what else have we got here we've got their logo, the XA in leather. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's it. it comes in four sizes: small, medium, large, and extra large. Now I got the large. And the best part about this, my hands are large in width, but medium in length. But still, it fits nice and snug. There is a little bit of give in the material, not much. So my hand does feel comfortable whilst wearing it across here. And I just give that a tug up and it fits me great. I can still move my fingers around. It's, again, if I wanted to use my thumb, it's just makes it so easy. Uh, here's one of my cameras over here. I've got a button on the side, just there. So it makes it easier just to take my fingers out. I'll show you with my thumb. But when that's on, most gloves is a, a pain to get to. And I can't use the screen with gloves on. So it makes it easier for me to use my fingers open to change the settings when needed. So there's another big plus and the reason why I went with these. Warmth wise, now the fleece is not as warm as some of your big thick skiing gloves and thinsulated ones and everything like that. But whilst hiking and bushwalking here in Australia, now the temperature does get below zero. So I think in Australia you're getting your 36, 42, 45 centigrade days, which are normal here in the summer. In the winter out in the bush, it can get cold and there's a point here in Western Australia which is the coldest point of Western Australia and I've been out there over winter and it got down to minus 12 so we do get cold patches but all in all day temperatures they'll probably average about 18 degrees centigrade over the winter so these gloves, would I recommend them? Yes. My hands stay warm where I can use them. They don't feel cold. I can move my fingers around in there still. I can, I can take them out and use my fingers. It's just so much easier and quicker to use. Now that's got an elasticated bit in there, which to be honest, I've never noticed it. Let's <laughs> just notice then. And the same on the thumb. Yeah, the thumb's got elasticated to hold it in place. Yeah, so that seals it off nice. Well, you can see there where the thumbs come down a bit. That either needs to be smaller so it doesn't bunch up or a little bit longer so it stays in there and doesn't come out as easy. But that's, that's nothing. When I'm holding the poles, that's held shut. Right, on and off, slide on off, nice and easy. No hassles at all. Maybe it's just the fingers or it has a mitt. Miss my thumb apart from that. Yep, and as again you can see there, you've got to tuck that in. A great pair of gloves they are, or mittens, whatever you want to call them, wherever you are from around the world. I think in Canada they'd call them mittens, I'm not sure. I know in England originally where I'm from, they'd be known as mittens. I suppose because these are called the hooded gloves, it's telling it's a combination. Fingerless gloves with a hood over. How about that? Yes. Even just doing this now, I've got the fan on above me. And the temperature is 23 degrees centigrade in here or Celsius, whatever you want to call it. But my hands are toasty warm in here. So, there you go. These are the gloves I've used for about the last two years whilst filming out in the bush. And these are the gloves I'll be using this year, next year, the year after, unless I find anything that's more suitable to me. But these are just a great pair of gloves. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below, click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell next to it, and select all 
so you can be notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much